What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your iOS from iOS 15.4 to iOS 14 using this amazing app called iDowngrade. I have it right here on my phone. It's absolutely free and there's a certain way you have to get it, but I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. Here is the app right now. I'm currently on iOS 15 and all I have to do is hit downgrade and it puts me right to iOS 14. Hit downgrade again puts me to iOS 13 and it restart. once I restart my phone, everything changes. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Let's get into it. All right guys, so before we get into the actual tutorial on how to download the iDowngrade app, I will show you guys one more time how it actually works. So what I'm gonna do is sign into my phone and here is the app right here, iDowngrade, right there. So I'll tap it. And I never reset my or restarted my phone, so none of the uh, settings applied. But so there's a little downgrade option right here, and I'm currently on iOS 15, as it says. So all I have to do is just hit downgrade, and it puts me right to automatically iOS 14. Obviously, nothing has changed yet, so I would have to restart my phone and do everything like that, and then I would be able to actually get all the benefits of iOS 14. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this app for absolutely free. You don't have to worry about jailbreaking or anything like that. Or, uh, it's absolutely free, like I said. The one thing I did notice is that you do need to have iOS 10 or above in order to actually download it. And obviously when you do download the iDowngrid app, then you'll be able to set your phone to basically anything, no matter what you're on. If you're already on iOS 10, uh, you can upgrade to iOS 14, and if you're past iOS 10 and you're on iOS 15.4, then you, it would just automatically let you downgrade to 14. So right now, I'm on iOS 12, I believe. Uh, let me go to my general and about. Yeah, so I'm on my iOS 12 right now, as you guys can tell right there. So obviously, my phone hasn't been adjusted yet to going back to iOS 15 because I did want to make this video and have or make sure that my phone was in the correct standing. But like I said, make sure you're at, you have at least iOS 10 or above and you will be good on that. So there's two settings we have to change and then we can actually go and download the iDowngrid app. And the first step we have to, or the first setting we're changing is the background app refresh. So we'll tap that. And then we'll tap the background app refresh at the top. And for this, you wanna make sure that your background app refresh is turned on to Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and data. It doesn't matter which one you have it set to, but you wanna make sure it's set to either one of these. If you have it turned off, then your download won't even start. So you'll know that there is a problem at that uh, step in the process. So like I said, make sure it's set to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and data. I personally keep mine on Wi-Fi and data, but it is your choice. And then the last thing we're gonna change is if you go all the way to the back to the main page of settings, scroll down to you or until you see battery, which is right here. So we'll tap battery and we're gonna be focusing on the low power mode. So for this, you wanna make sure low power mode is turned off throughout the entire download process because if it is turned on, then your battery will short circuit and probably just cause your phone to turn off throughout the download. And then you'll have to restart everything and it's not worth it. So just make sure low power mode is off throughout the download and you'll be good. So just to clarify, make sure you're running iOS 10 or above, make sure your low power mode is turned off and then make sure your background app refresh is turned on. So now that we got that out of the way, or out of the way we can go to Safari, Chrome, doesn't matter. We're gonna type in w-e-t-w-e-a-k.co. So there it is right there, wetweak.co. So we'll hit go. And it brings us to the Yulu store page. And there's a bunch of cracked and tweaked apps on here like Amazon Plus Plus, App Store Plus Plus. But we are gonna search for iDowngrade. So if you just type in iDown just like that, it's the first thing to come up. Shout out to the Yulu store team for actually hooking us up with this for free. I couldn't imagine a world where, or where we'd have to pay for this. But so it's downloading the iDowngrade.gz file right now, which is what we need to make sure the app actually runs and, may, and you know doesn't short circuit or anything like that. And I would say this is a pretty fast download, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, not even. We're already past the halfway mark, which is good. And once the download is done, we should get a pop-up. All right, so here's the pop-up right here. It's asking us if we wanna download the configuration profile. So we're gonna tap allow. 
and then we can hit close and then go back to your settings and on the main page scroll up until you see profile downloaded which is right here so we'll tap that and here is the i downgrade profile installer so this is basically the last step of the process all we have to do is hit install put in our passcode hit next install and then right at the bottom here install and now we can go and look so here was the i downgrade or i downgrade app that we were using at the beginning of the video and here is the one that we just downloaded together if you guys did it right you'll only have one i downgrade app i have two because i did have one before the video started and i'll probably just delete this when i'm done recording but if, like I said, if you did it right, you'll have one I downgrade app and now you'll be able to downgrade to basically any iOS you want. I haven't seen a limit yet. I'm pretty sure the limit is iOS 10, but I, have, I haven't gone that far. I usually just go to 14 or 13. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was how to... This is how to download iDowngrade for absolutely free and allow your phone to downgrade to basically any iOS you want. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like on it. It does help out the channel a lot. And make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.